another innovation built to tackle the myriad of security challenges confronting the nation. The Police Crime and Incident Database System, conceptualized by the police. The first public relations officer, C.P. Frank Umba, takes journalists on an operational working tour of the Crime and Incident Database Center, which among other things, going forward, will help in case management, stages of investigation to prosecute and convict a suspected criminal, stopping suspects from changing their identity, among other things. Umba noted that with this, it will be impossible for suspects to move from different points to perpetrate heinous acts. We believe that the system here will help in, in not only in helping us to solve a lot of crimes, they will, not, they will also help in carrying out scientific and evidence-based investigations. They will also act as a very strong deterrent tool because we believe that by the time criminals know that wherever, wherever and whenever you commit a crime in Nigeria, you will be easily identified and you cannot falsify your identification, you cannot just falsify your name, your age um, and all those identities that they used to juggle in the past, it will act as a check on prospective um, criminals. And that's what we are. A mobile version of this system presents officers and men of the force, the enabling environment, to arrest and assist when fingerprints are detected at a crime scene and matched with the register on the database to get those behind the criminal act. However, this can only come to fruition with the patrol vehicles, laptops, and cross match system for policemen to discharge their duties without hindrance. The FCT Commissioner of Police also gives an insight to this, just as newsmen are given access to the systems deployed to police stations in Gariki, Meitama, Asokuru and other stations in the city centre. The way that uh, even officers on the field have access to this technology, therefore patrol teams on the ground can easily check on certain information and could easily receive information in respect of crimes committed from the control room. This really assists us in uh, improving our capacities to prevent and detect crimes. The system has a capacity to store over 80 million fingerprints and facial recognition and has an enabled expansion capacity. It is already functional in Abuja, Lagos, Kano, Wari and Port Harcourt. The police spokesman reveals that by the middle of the year, almost all the centers across the country will be up and running. Chief Executive Officer of Hardcore Biometric System Limited, an indigenous company empowering the program, had this to say. I'm the one uh, handling the criminal database project for Nigerian police. Um, it's been a, uh, actually a long overdue project. Uh, we've been on it for so, quite some time now. And um, honestly, the project has been supported by the President of uh, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who have made it clear that fighting crime in this country is the way forward to make sure that it secures our citizens and the properties of this nation. So the project has been there um, for uh, like three years now we started and uh, we tend to be rounding up the project in the next uh, six months from now and uh, we've been able to cover all the next we've been able to cover all the state comment and we are heading to the area commands now and to police division is in fact is the key for the uh, uh, fighting of crime in this country and I'm here with the Chief Technical Officer, Kizito Fonagro, who will be able to give you more details on the technical aspect of it. Thank you. I wish to commend the, uh, uh, the efforts of Nigerian police and Nigerian government, by extension, for embarking on such a large you know, project. I say courage because this took so many years of planning, research and design to come up with a system that is both scalable and at the same time secure because we built in many layers of security on this system with consultation so many years with uh, you know, businesses and companies in around the world and also we built you know, uh, 
a, a team of uh, engineers that happen to be local to, you know, to put together all this efforts. And in the face of the new normal occasioned by the coronavirus pandemic, the system provides a huge advantage of reducing physical contact with police officers. Additionally, soft crime carries out scientific and detailed investigation, giving no room for falsification of records, and the list is endless. In no time when the system will be up and running in all 36 states and the 774 local government areas, this will, among other things, strengthen interagency collaboration in terms of exchange of information, digital crime fighting investigation, and thorough background checks on criminals. Uluwatobi Enito, Viable TV.